Welcome in. I am the Crypto Bull God. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to give a quick update on where I see Bitcoin going here in the shorter term, as well as if there will be an alt season. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Crypto Bull God right here. I'm also on TradingView. Uh, I am Crypto Bull God on uh, TradingView. So if you find if you find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate uh, if you shared my content. Twitter, give me a follow, Trading View, YouTube, subscribe. I'll have more videos coming out. So real quick, quick disclosure that none of what I'm sharing is financial advice. I'm very simply uh, put, looking to educate, help, and spread sound technical analysis to the community to help others in making informed decisions. When making your own personal financial decisions regarding what to invest in, when to buy, when to sell, ultimately the ownership falls on you. My hope, however, is that you can utilize what I share as another data point in helping you to think through what may be best for your own personal approach. So with that being said, we're going to mainly look at two charts for Bitcoin. I've stressed the importance of the 12-hour chart on Twitter. Uh, I posted this a few times, you know, the past week, um, just the importance of the 12 hour and what I see going on. I also shared it in my last video, so check that out and the, the importance of this 200 SMA. So on the 12 hour, very simply put, what I like to do, I don't like to overcomplicate things, okay? I like to keep things very, very simple. We don't need to make ourselves, we don't need to make ourselves sound smarter than what we are. Um, the more that you can put things in layman's terms, uh, it, it'll help people out. Okay. So look at the purple line. The purple line is the 50 SMA. Again, 12 hour chart, 50 SMA. The blue is the 10 SMA and the orange is the 20 SMA. Okay. Whenever we see the purple line moving up and then we get a golden cross, which is, uh, the blue and the orange crossing the purple with the blue above the orange it leads historically to significant price moves up. We had it occur right here, and you can see that once we had that cross up to breaking all-time high, very uh, that just happened this week, we went up uh, 86%, okay? So if we go back in time, and feel free to do this yourself. I'm gonna go through a few of these, but like I said, I wanted to keep this video short. Here we had the same sort of dynamic play out and we had a 36% move up, okay? Here, now this one is important to note, right? Remember what I said, we get this cross, right? Where the blue and orange are above the purple, but look at the purple, it's trending down. So this is invalidated. This to me doesn't count, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about having, a bull having the bullish momentum, bullish momentum, upward momentum. Look, now we have the purple trending up and now right in here, we get our bullish cross. A little, little, uh, little volatility in here, but we get our cross right here and look what happens, okay? Right up to here, 50%. If you scroll back even, okay, and the same sort of thing played out for those who were here in early 2019, when we had that huge run up to 13,800, the same dynamic played out here. I'll let you take a look at that. If you scroll back in time, you see the same sort of dynamic playing out in our prior bull cycle. I'll just show you one just for the sake of conversation to validate what I'm seeing here. Um, okay, so here we have a price. What is this, June of 16? I want to show January 17 because that's a good lead into the next discussion point. Here we're in... Um, here we're in January 17 timeframe and you can see we're trending up here. We got our cross and we moved up, you know, roughly 43%. All right. So if you go back in time, the whole point is if you go back in time, you'll see the same sort of thing playing out. So that's the first leading indicator to tell me that if we go back to present time, you'll see 50s moving up. The, the 10 and 20 are crossed above it, and the 10 is right now above the 20, okay? So this movement right here, look, 50 up, 10 and 20 trending up, and the 10 is above the 20. You want the 10, then the 20, then the 50. This is telling me that most likely we'll get some price movement up, okay? But how far of a price movement will we get up? Well, I'm only thinking that it's going to go up about 
somewhere in the 21 to 23,000 range. Why do I feel that way? I can't just pull that out of thin air, right? The reason I feel that way is twofold. One, if you look at other charts for Bitcoin, like the daily, the weekly, we're over, we're oh yeah, oversold. I wish we're overbought. All right, you can remain overbought for a period of time, but at some point the market's going to want to pull back. All right, and if you go back in time, and I hit on this in my prior chart, we typically get thirty to forty percent increases. Let's just ballpark it and say the midpoint of thirty-five percent. All right, thirty-five percent increase, the decreases. Okay. So I'm saying, all right, well, we're overbought on so many other charts. At some point, we are destined to have a historical 35% uh, drop. Um, the, the other reason I don't think it's going to go up super far here based on this bullish cross that I was just hitting on is if you go to my view, if you go to my chart that I've shared on Twitter and I have on my trading view account, I feel that right now this price movement is very indicative of where we were back here in January 17. Okay. And we didn't go much above the all-time high at that point. Um, my whole premise here, my whole premise, and I've hit on this before, this whole prior bull cycle that we saw back in, uh, what, 14 through 17, it's this, this bull cycle right now that's playing out looks a hell of a lot the same. Uh, as that prior one, okay? So I, I'm saying that this is essentially a fractal. The price movement won't be exactly the same, but it's similar enough. And I've, I hit on this before in my last video. So I'm expecting similar price movement to play out in here. And so if you're looking to scale in, if you're looking to say, okay, well, when would be a smart time to buy? In my opinion, what I'm looking for, I hit on this in my last video. So check it out. First off on the 12 hour, Price will want to naturally gravitate towards this 200 SMA on a 12 hour. It will hold that area. Hist historically, it's held that area as support in a bull market, all right? So this would be an opportune area to buy wherever this 200 SMA is at. The other thing you can look at is the weekly chart. And historically, the uh, 21 Moving average, this orange line, is an area of support during a bull cycle. So I would anticipate that price would either come to this level or very close to it. Might even wick below it. It's important to just don't forget that Bitcoin and the entire cryptocurrency market is very volatile. Okay, So if you get a price wick, which expresses volatility and total price movement, it may go below the 21 uh, moving average on the weekly. But ultimately, it's going to close above it if history is any... Uh, precedent for what we can expect for the future, right? And that's all we can base our decisions based off of. Um, so that's my view on Bitcoin. Now, the other reason, or not, not the other reason, but the other thing that I think is going to play out in the charts, I also think it's at least highly likely. And this is important to note when I, from my perspective, when I'm providing analysis, the only thing certain in life is living and dying, okay? So when I'm charting, the reason I say that is when I'm charting, what I'm doing is I am determining probabilities, right? Uh, which I'll actually hit on uh, something related to that later. I'm assessing probabilities and I'm looking at probabilistic outcomes, okay? I look at data and it's giving me probabilities going in certain directions. And then what I do is where the higher probability lays, okay, whatever the highest probabilistic scenario is, that's my hypothesis, right? So if you have a 20, just to keep it simple, just to illustrate my point, if there's a 10% chance of something when you're analyzing data, if, you, if you're analyzing data, historical data and current price action, and it says, well, there's a 10% chance of this and a 90% chance of this, clearly your hypothesis will base, be based, hopefully, will clearly be based hopefully on the 90% probability, right? Um, so, so that's important to, to understand that what I'm doing is I'm providing probabilistic statements within my technical analysis. So my probabilistic statement is that the alt season we saw similar back in 17 is gonna start playing out. And I am expecting some very rapid movements soon in a lot of the altcoins like XRP and Ethereum, okay? Let's look at XRP real quick and where I anticipate it going in the short term. Uh, I hit on this in my XRP price projection video. I will include a link uh, in the description if you haven't checked that out. I think it's a pretty sound technical video in terms of concluding um, likely scenarios where XRP may go. I am anticipating XRP BTC to be within this range right here. This point triple zero. 
one five essentially and point triple zero one seven four. So obviously, if you understand relativities, the XRP USD price will be contingent upon uh, Bitcoin's price. I'm going to make a video on price relativities. But if you're focused more on the XRP BTC chart, which I personally am at the moment, I'm expecting this rel uh, this relativity to be hit. Wick, a wick, a price wick. XRP is a lot more volatile than Bitcoin because it has a much smaller market cap, okay? I'm not talking about the ratio entering this territory and staying there for a long period of time. That is not what I'm saying. Please understand that. What I'm saying is that price will ultimately wick into this level. That, that's what I personally am, am aiming for uh, or setting, you know, what my own strategy is based on. So, um, so I hope you found this video helpful. A couple things that I wanted to hit on. I wanted to keep this video short. I see we're already at 11 minutes, so I want to kind of keep it short like I promised. Um, I do feel confident in stating that I'm uniquely positioned to help you out. And here are the supporting reasons why. Number one, I'm an actuary, business professional. Uh, I have a career behind the scenes that keeps me quite busy. I manage people. Scary, I know, I manage people. Uh, I'm an actuary. If you don't know what that is, I mean, it's a shit ton of mathematics and statistics. Uh, I took years and years of years of exams and worked extremely hard to become credentialed as a fellow of the Society of Actuaries. So I'm very statistically and mathematically minded. Okay, so I have that analytical side. I love to teach, did a lot of tutoring in high school, junior high school, and even college. Loved it, excelled at it, thought I might become a professor. Um, this is my outlet for that. It's important that you know, uh, I love doing this stuff and I'm just looking to help people. Um, genuinely looking to help people, that's all. I have a career, so I'm not looking at this moment to monetize anything. Uh, I'm just putting content out there and, and you know, seeing, Seeing if, seeing if I can help other people out and um, kind of curious how, how some of this stuff plays out and how accurate I end up being. The other thing I wanted to say, um, you know, related to why I'm uniquely positioned is, you know, I'm trying to just be true to myself and who I am. And, and you know, there, there are some content creators out there who I value, but quite honestly, sometimes when I watch their videos, I mean... You know, I, I feel like my eyes and my ears are, are bleeding because they have such a monotone sound voice. And we know that Bitcoin... I, I've had to shut the videos off before. So um, I'm trying to just interject humor and just um, just keep, keep, keep it real a little bit. And uh, the, other thing, the other thing I wanted to make you aware of is uh, I'm not going to entertain or introduce hype into the space. I like to keep things very um, real and realistic. Again, being a business professional and having the acumen that I do and having the credentials I have, um, I feel a sense of responsibility to be very authentic and genuine uh, in the analysis that I provide. So regardless of how I come across as a crypto bull god, um, you know, it's just me just trying to be funny. That's all it is. I'm a nerd at heart, really, you know? So if you knew me, you, you'd, you'd know that. So uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video. Please subscribe. I'm going to have more videos. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on TradingView. Uh, there may be future developments regarding other things that I will be involved with. So uh, I will keep you abreast. But um, thanks for tuning in. I, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in in below and uh, I will get back to you. All right. Peace out. Stay safe. It's a crazy world.